Go. Hi, we're at EECS 203 Group B44, and today we're covering strong induction. Strong induction is a statement that for all n, p of n is true, if p of 1 is true, which is the basis step, and for all k, p of 1 and all the way to p of k goes to p of k plus 1 is true, and that's the inductive step. A strong induction is not stronger than mathematical induction, but the hypothesis is stronger. Anything that you can solve with mathematical induction, you can strong solve with strong induction, and vice versa. Yep. All of using strong induction. And what we're going to use is we're going to use the Fibonacci sequence, which is 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, dot, dot, dot. And notice that one characteristic of the Fibonacci sequence is that the uh, the n term is equal to the sum of f n minus 1 plus n minus 2. Um, in other words, 2 is the sum of 1 plus 1, and 3 is the sum of 1 plus 2. So every so you derive every element or, uh, from the sum of the two before it. So now what we're actually going to prove is that we're going to prove that Every third, so um, so so you think, sticking with the uh, f of n, um, we're going to prove that if n is divisible by three, then um, f of n is even. Otherwise. F of n equals up. All right, and um, if we just simply look at the first uh, first view, we can see that it's very true. Whereas the third, the third, uh, and the six terms are two and eight, and they're both even. And one, one, three, five, which is the first, second, and fourth, fifth terms are all odd. Uh, so thus we could technically assume a base step uh, where k equals, where if n is equal to 3, then the theory holds. But what happens when we go beyond into like the hundreds or thousands uh, Fibonacci number. Um, what we can actually do is we're going to use um, strong induction. So that's going to be a base step. And our inductive step Is that we're gonna go? We're gonna assume. Um, so we're gonna pick a arbitrary, n, and we're gonna call that k. So n equals k. But because this is strong induction, we could also assume that that not only is n equals k true, that the statement holds for n equals k, but also the statement holds for n equals k minus 1 and n equals k minus 2. Alright. Okay, so now we're going to do a um, few cases. We're, first of all, we're going to assume that k is um, k is 1. K is divisible by 3. Alright, so since um, k equals mod 3, then that means that k minus 1 and k minus 2 are not divisible by 3. Uh, you know, in, in other words, we know that k minus 1 and k minus 2, according to a statement, is are both out. So, we're, so if k is divisible by 3, and k minus 1 is not divisible by 3. Um, more specifically, it's going to be uh, has, it's going to have a remainder of 2 when divided by 3. Right. 
So, so now, what we're trying to do is we're going to try to prove that uh, k plus one term. Also based the uh, equation. So given that k is divisible by three, thus it's even, and k minus one is not divisible by three, meaning that it's odd, and that um, f of k plus one is equal to f of k and plus. f of k, my, k plus 1 is actually going to be uh, sum of an even and odd number. So this is actually going to be odd. Alright, so, so now we will prove that if <coughs> the if k is, is if k is divisible by 3 then k plus 1 is not divisible by 3. Alright, now we're going to and, and, and from this point, we can actually uh, keep, keep going on. We can keep going. Um, in other words, we could create a case 2. And in case 2, we're going to assume that k, 1 divided, 1 divided by 3, is going to have a remainder of 1. So, <clears throat> so, so if we have that, then we know that k, mi k minus one is going to be divisible by three. Um. So thus, if k is going to have the remainder of one, then if k is going to have a remainder of one, one divided by three, then k plus one. Is again not going to be divisible by three. K plus one is going to be, or more specifically, two. One. In other words, it's going to have a remainder of two when divis one divided by three. Um. So, so from this, we can see that uh, since k plus one is equal to again the sum of these two. And this is not divisible by three, so it's odd. And k minus one is divisible by three, so it's even. Then k plus one, as the sum of an odd and even, must be odd. So in other words, we know that when k one is divisible by when k <coughs> when k plus one is has has a remainder of two when the when divided by three, then it's odd. And then our last step is going to be when k divided by 3 is has a remainder of uh, 2. Um, and then thus k minus 1 will have a remainder of what? So k plus one would be divisible by three. All right, and then since this is not divisible by three, we can assume that this is odd. And since k minus one is not divisible by three, we can also assume it's odd. And since k plus one is the sum of an odd plus an odd, then k plus one must be even. <coughs> so basically, we proved that um, when k when k plus one is odd, um, then uh, when, if k plus one is not divisible by three, then it is odd, and otherwise it is even. Thus, we have concluded that um, when when uh, n equals three then uh, f of n equals even, but when n is not equal to 3, it's odd. This has been our presentation on strong induction. Thank you for watching.